Okay, we're uh, back here with Andy Quattrochi. Uh, Coach, um, give us a little bit of background about yourself. Uh, when did you get started in cheer? And, and uh... Uh, My junior year of high school, before, it was the summer before my senior year, a couple of friends that were went to school with me were a year younger than me, and they cheered, and we I'd always go on beach vacations with them, and they're out you know, doing flips and stuff on the beach, and all everybody's going, oh, that's so cool. And I was like, I, I, I know I can do that. I played every sport in high school. you got to teach me how to flip. So, you know, I came to some of their practices just for fun. And then uh, Jay, who is my boss now, was my first coach, came into me and asked me if I wanted to come and toss some girls around. And I said, well, of course. So, uh, you know, uh, you know, took me out on the floor and, you know, I was tumbling and learning how to stunt. And I just I just fell in love with it. It was, it was a di- different atmosphere. It was still the, the, you know, fierce competitiveness. But at the same time, just the different cheerleaders are a different mode of people. And I just... It was it was my style. It was just my my outgoing and my personality. He always told me <laughs> that I was the spark plug of the team. Like I wasn't very functional, you? right? I, I, I wasn't very functional. I wasn't very skilled. But with without me, the car wasn't going to go. Right. And that's how that was. You know, one of the the compliments that I got in the beginning that that made me stay with it and realize that I didn't have the skills that some of my friends did. But I was you know I was the leader. I was the motivator. I was the the captain, so to speak. Yeah, that's awesome. I can totally see that about you. So now. You and Jay have been together for a while, obviously. He's a coach. Yeah. Now, when this, when did this particular gym here? We right? opened in April of 2010. Okay. Uh, we were at previous like United Cheerleading, um, and it was, it was just one of those things that had to happen. The, the, the direction wasn't going the way it should have been going in the city of Chattanooga, and people weren't leaving to go somewhere else. Just people, it wasn't, There wasn't a dedication to the sport as it had been in the past. Well, once Jay and I got back together and opened up Raw Spirit, the, the, the people that were here before saw the desire and saw the passion that we had again. And it was just the fire that was relit in us passed right over to the kids. And we went from, you know, opening our first day of having, you know, little wall-to-wall kids in a little bitty building to, you know, the 15,000 square foot we have now with, you know, over 10 teams and work with, you know, 40 to 41 area high school, middle school teams. So oh, and that's all in about a four-year span. Four-year span, right. right. And, and it's, it's April, April, 4, April, April 2010. Yeah, 2010. Wow. And, um, it, a lot of it has to do with the the staff. We've kept, you know, we've mm-hmm. kept the same staff in tech, intact. When we left the other place and opened up Raw, the same staff came over with the same values and the same. And of course, we had to have some outside people to kind of like shake it up a little bit. But the the core values that Jay instilled in us and me a long time ago carried over, and the the kids that were here in the past knew that and saw that. We're really excited about the direction we started to take it again. Right. Cause it also seems like you guys reach out to, I mean, a lot of people here, a lot of different cheer. In, in the we, area, Bay, I mean, Baylor, Macaulay, you've got all kinds of college teams, high school teams, middle school teams coming in. Explain we, that um, a little bit. We, we, that's one of the things we, you know, hang our hat on is we don't just do all-stars or just do cheer classes. We work with, like I said, so many middle schools and high school teams. We have teams drive for us from North Georgia, North Alabama, Cleveland. Um, some, some kids come as far as Squatchy County, which is, wow, you know, a good yep. 45 minutes, hour yep. away. It's a whole different time zone, you know, coming to us. And it's it's from the reputation that we built in the past, and we've just kept that going and kept that good reputation of our our experience and our knowledge of the sport, getting those people, drawing those people from from further away to to come to us. And it's, I mean, the more the more people we can reach, more people we can teach, more people we can like improve. Wow, that's great, great. Now, um, I mean, obviously you have a strong, strong passion for the sport. I mean, I can you know you can see it just talking to you. Um, it's great. Uh, give us a little bit about you know. The positives and and really, why are you a gym manager? Why why do you do what you do? Why do you the, why do you coach? Why 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 the sport? The the gym management is it just comes from experience and me knowing what Jay taught me in the past when I was first like really like digging into the sport and like burying myself into the sport. Like he taught me what had to to be done to run a successful gym. Without the successful gym, there's not kids. There's not other coaches to mentor. You don't get to change these kids' lives. So the management aspect comes of it from me wanting to make sure that there's still a place where, you know, not just the kids but the coaches that we train can't have a place to, to live and be, like, be who they are. And being a coach, I always the, the thing I've said for the longest time, there's coaches you remember growing up for a good reason, coaches you remember for a bad reason, and coaches you don't remember at all growing up. I can't tell you my first soccer coach. But I love being the coach that kids remember. I love getting graduation letters or, you know, getting a f- – post on Facebook when I got married about kids that I coached, you know, 12, 13, 14 years ago, like so excited about still being in touch and being a part of those kids' lives. Yeah, that's great. Good deal. Coach, awesome. You guys have got a great gym here. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Thank you.